Hello, hello Virgo and welcome, welcome to your September reading. This month we don't have a specific topic. We are just gonna pull cards until we don't wanna pull cards no more and see what the universe has in store for you this month. So we are gonna do two oracle decks, one tarot deck as per my usual standard. And, whoa, well that was fast. Okay, so we have two cards for you here. We have come to life and we have faith in the process. Now, faith in the process is pretty self-explanatory, I would say. It's about you basically leaving up to the universe of what it wants to do and you believing that the universe wants to not throw anything more at you than you can handle. But this is a very, very, very good combination to get because we also have come alive. And come alive is about feeling. It's about feeling strongly. So September will be a month of strong emotion for your Virgo. This could be happiness, sadness, rage, anger, uh, joy. It could be romance. It could be so many things, but you have to imagine yourself um you have to imagine yourself not being able to go back to sleep it's too late for that now you can't fall back into your own ways this is about the new this is about your future this is about manifesting what you want this is about going out there and grabbing what you know is yours so yeah i feel like for you virgo september is going to be a very vibrant month there's going to be it's gonna be a very colorful month, I feel like. So let's see what the self-care oracle has in store for you. And now the self-care oracle is sort of like, it's intertwined with the whole reading, of course, but still not really because the self-care oracle will give you a little thing. We already got it here. Wow, these cards are popping for you today, Virgo. Um, give you a little thing that that little things that you can do to improve your month of September. Um, yeah. So the first thing we have is clear your energy field, and the second thing we have is ground yourself. So let's actually. What do we have? That is here. So because I no, don't know much about these practices, I will read what it says to you in the book because it's better for me to do that than to just spew nonsense at you. So the first card we had here was Ground Yourself. It says, come into the present moment, connect with the earth and stabilize yourself in a harmonic state through grounding. This practice helps you integrate higher messages and callings by bringing them fully into your physical body through the earth energy field. To ground yourself, sit or walk barefoot on the ground. Meditate on a sensation of connection with the earth. Close your eyes and imagine your body growing roots into the ground. Visualize the roots going deep all the way to the center of the planet. Picture yourself drawing in the energy from the earth's core and using it to nourish your mind, body and spirit. When you open your eyes, allow yourself to feel calm, centered and clear. You can also ground yourself by eating a nourishing meal that contains root vegetables, gardening, shaping things with clay or spending time in nature. Find the activity that makes you feel fully present in your body and appreciative of the connection you have with the earth. So that is a really beautiful thing. Also, the mantra is, I am grounded, stable, and strong. So that is absolutely beautiful. So that is the first card we have. And something that I'm going to start doing from now on, goodness me, is not, like, I've never really been much into meditation. Not that I've never done it, I have. But it's just it's not something I've dabbled in too much. So that's a very good thing. And I will definitely try that out myself now. The next one we have is clear your energy field, and let's just see what it says about that. Yes, okay. So the mantra is, my energy is clear, my mind is clear, and my heart is full of love. Oh. So it says, in the same way that we need to clean our homes, we need to clean our energy fields. Through energy clearing, we can remove blocks, leaks, and entities of spirits that have attached to us. 
This process also helps us free ourselves of any emotions or stories that others have implanted within us and are no longer serving us. Start to clear your energy field by taking a few deep breaths, emptying your mind and visualizing being surrounded with white and golden light. Use tools like sage, palo santo, incense, crystals, candles, or water to cleanse your metaphysical body. Okay, so it is something I do. I just called it something else. All right. Um, you'll know your energy is clear when you experience the sense of the weight being lifted from your shoulders. Feel yourself coming into more peaceful and loving vibration. If you're having trouble getting to this point, you can seek the support of professional energy worker and try Reiki, Chakra Balancing, Theta Healing or another type of energy work session. For significant issues, it m may take a long-term commitment to clear your energy field. However, once you do, you'll feel the difference and see changes reflecting reflected in all areas of your life. All right, so this is something I practice. I just don't call it that. So that is a very, very good thing for you to do. It does feel very good to get what they call your energy field cleansed. Now, removal of blocks is not something I dabble in, but my good friend Sandra Andrelina does. So I will link you to her channel. It will be somewhere up on the screen. She does removal of blocks very, very well, very efficiently, and is very good with cleansing energies. So contact her if you have problems with that. She is astounding at that. So that was your little tips for September. Now let's see what tarot is bringing you. And this actually makes sense because if your month of September is going to be so vibrant and so strong in emotions, it is a good thing to um, to cleanse ourselves and make sure we're centered in our own self, in our own body, and our mind is centered and calm and clear um, with all these things happening. So let's see what... Well, let's just start here. This is a bunch of cards. Nine of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, The Emperor. Oof. Okay, let me just take a few cards, a few more cards before we start here. Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords. All right. So this is a really interesting bunch of cards and they all kind of share the same voice. So if we start with the not so positive cards, we have the Nine of Swords, we also have the Five of Swords. And these two cards are cards that causing you they're causing you grief basically they are something is keeping you up at night you might be worried about your future you're worried about the process you've been making and again this is a time of vibrance is also a time of a very strong emotion so you being up at night is not really a surprise to me honestly we also have the five of swords and the five of swords signifies that you have experienced some sort of shift in your reality and that is it's it's causing you grief the five of swords is also uh, signifying the fear of failure and the fear fear of not being good enough it feels like to some of you out there that you don't really feel like you deserved what you have accomplished or what you will accomplish and it is um it's a scary thing to be in but we have the, the Nine of Wands here as well as the Emperor and those are really uplifting cards. So the Nine of Wands basically is here to tell you that you are so close to abundance and success. You cannot give up now. You cannot under any circumstances give up now. And again, faith in the process come to life. This is major that you don't give up now. You have to keep pushing and keep going. I know it's really hard. The Emperor is here to tell you that you are building your own empire, you're building your own world and it's hard and it takes a lot of time and a lot of skill and a lot of effort and there's lots of ups and downs and there will be the Seven of Wands, people on this road 
who are not supportive and who does not want to see you succeed. But it is vital that you keep in mind that you need to push forward in order to get where you need to go. We have the Six of Pentacles to support this. It's vital that you keep a positive attitude about this and keep giving because when you give to the universe and when you warp your perception into a positive mindset, then the universe will in turn give you back. It's the law of attraction. It's um, that is highly, highly at play here. So you might be feeling like Gosh, you can't do it anymore, you're stressed, you're tired, you you don't know where the energy is supposed to come from. But find that energy, and that is something we can do through these things. This is just such a clear message, you guys. It's such a clear message. You can do this. You are not... You are not at the end of the road. You are far from at the end of the road. And September is gonna be a lot, but you can do this. And... I believe in you and I'm proud of you for getting where you are now just even. It's um, it's an amazing feat and you should be really proud of yourself that you've come this far even if it's even if it's not as far as you want to be, it's you are still miles away from where you used to be and that is astounding by itself. It's it might be small steps like it it might not be that you feel like, well, but I haven't done much yet. I'm just like, this week I managed to take a shower and get out of bed in the morning and, you know, do some dishes and stuff. But that's progress. That's you progressing in your life and moving forward. And that in and of itself is great and wonderful. But you are not at the end of the road and you have so much more to go. You have so much more to give. You have so much more to see. Your journey is not over yet. But remember yourself, because you are important to yourself. And without remembering to ground yourself and keeping a check of your own entities, you can't fall into this pit of stress and worry and staying up at night and we don't want that anymore. You are done with that. So. Virgo, I think that's all I wanted to say for this reading. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you thought about it in the comment sections below. I would very much love to hear from you. And if you're not a part of my little family here, we would very much love to have you. So consider subscribing to the channel. Now, this reading is obviously a general reading and I do my best to read for the whole internet, but it's hard. <laughs> if you want a personal reading just for you, um, check out the description box below. All the information on how to contact me is down there. And yeah, apart from that, thank you guys so much for, for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.